Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be from our Virgos. We're gonna see what's the energy surrounding you guys today, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. All right, my loves, let's get into this. So today's our 11-11. How y'all feeling today? I feel like the energy is heavy. I feel, I feel very heavy energy. Let's see. How is my Virgos feeling today, spirit? What's the energy surrounding my Virgos? You're standing your ground. Judgment. Scorpio energy. Mm, you're rendering judgment. Massive spiritual awakening. A massive spiritual awakening. Seeing things for what they truly are. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, it feels like a veil has been lifted. It feels like for some of you guys, there's, there's, there's like a, there's an aura for some of you guys, there's an aura. For some of you guys, the veil has been lifted. There's a cloud. There's a cloud that's subsiding. Some of you guys may feel like this. You may feel a touch of the sun. Like a touch of the sun. I'm getting like you may, you may see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some of you guys are searching for that light at the end of the tunnel. Some of you guys are searching for that light. Show me. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles came out in the reverse also with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, that tells me sometimes, you know, we're focused on something. There's a focus here. Some of you guys, is a, it's, I'm, I feel like you've been so focused on your money, your work, your stability, like building something. Because with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and that Eight of Pentacles in reverse, that's telling me like, it's like almost like a loss, like losing yourself in the hustle. Like that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like for some of you guys, that's the awakening that you're experiencing right now, present moment. You've lost yourself. You've lost sight of, you've lost, you've lost sight of your goal for some of you guys. Or even if you haven't lost sight of your goal, you're noticing there's an awakening to the fact that are you living life? Because with that judgment, the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, that added, those two actually came out in the reverse and judgment came out in the upright. There's a massive awakening for you guys. A massive awakening. I'm getting like you've been chasing money. You've been chasing success. You've been chasing your education, furthering your education. You've been chasing trying to be something, trying to have something. Like for a lot of you guys, what I'm getting in this energy is like you've been chasing trying to have something. With the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is telling me like you're chasing it, but you haven't quite touched it yet. You haven't quite reached it yet. While the potential is there, there's almost like a feeling of blockages in that. And for some of you guys, it's coming at a cost. For some of you guys, it's coming at a cost because sometimes when the Eight of Pentacles come out in reverse, it's telling me like there's a neglect. A neglect from for for everything outside of your work everything outside of your hustle like if all the focus is on your work your education making something for yourself this is telling me like for some of you guys there is a neglect in your marriage there's a neglect in your relationship there's a neglect within yourself there's a neglect within being a mother a father there's neglect in being a sister or a, a brother or a, a daughter or like, you know, there's, it's telling me like there's something whereas, and when I say that, I'm not saying that it's massive. 
I'm saying for a lot of you guys, you're being awakened to that. You're being awakened to like, man, I'm not really and truly living life. Or this can't truly, truly be all life's all, all about. Nine of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're tired of, you're tired of stressing. You're tired of sleepless nights. I feel like for some of you guys, you're finally, I that, that's why I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're finally starting to feel the sun. And when I say you're start, you're finally starting to feel the sun, you're finally starting to really and truly tap into your healing, really and truly tap into your spiritual awakening. Like you're really and truly tapping into that. And when you're tapping into that, you're actually really and truly just starting to realize what's important and what's not so important. There's an importance here, as I saw five, five, five on the clock. There's there's an importance, and whatever want, something that you once held so valuable, it's not that valuable anymore. It still has value, yes, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, not only is your peace and your sanity important, you're starting to see other things that's important, like your connection, your spiritual connection. For some of you guys, there's certain people, there's certain things that you want to do outside of the hustle. There's certain things that you want to experience outside of the hustle. That's a big energy. Yeah. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. All these cards are coming out in the reverse. All these cards are coming out in the reverse. For some of you guys, ooh, for some of you guys, like, you're in separation right now, present moment. Actually, for some of you guys, ooh, king of pentacles in the reverse. For some of you guys, and these cards are in the upright. Like, for some of you guys, what I'm getting, because we have this ten of pentacles in the reverse, this is telling me, like, you've been building, you've built a foundation, for a lot of you guys, you've either you've you've built a foundation, you've been trying to build a foundation. Some of you guys are deciding at the end of the road, this is not what you want anymore. Like you're deciding, like this is not what you want anymore. Whatever you've been trying to build, you're deciding this is not what you want anymore. You're a lot of you guys. You're deciding it's like you don't want to live your life in regret for this Five of Cups. For some of you guys, you. There's a sadness in this. There's a sadness because some of you guys don't like what you see. Not what you see here in the mirror. That's not what I'm seeing here. There's, a, there's an image of not liking where you're, li like not liking where the path is leading you. Not liking where the hustle is leading you. Not anymore. Not anymore. There's a massive awakening here. There's a massive awakening because I feel like for some of you guys, because all of this energy, this is all about the material world. You have the ace of pentacles in the reverse. You have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. You have the 10 of pentacles in the reverse and you have the king of pentacles in the reverse. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is all about the material world. This is all about your work. This is all about your hustle. This is all about your money. And for some of you guys, this is about, this is about your health. This is about your physique. This is about your aura. This is about your feng shui of yourself. Like, there's such a displeasure. Like, a lot of you guys being awakened to such a displeasure. To such a displeasure. Like, you're being awakened to this. And it's heavy. Like, you're being awakened to this. And it's so heavy. It's, like, so heavy. Because I, feel, I see where some of you guys... You still, there's an energy of still kind of being in ruins. There's an energy here of still, still struggling. Like what I'm seeing here, there's an energy of still struggling for some of you guys. And if you're not struggling financially, what I'm getting in this is that you're struggling with the fact that, okay, at the end of this road, I've done all of this. I've devoted all my time, my energy. I've been hustling. I've been keeping my head down. I've been hustling. I've been hustling. I've been hustling. And when you get to the end of the road, you're like, but I'm not even sure I want this. For some of you guys, there's a drowning. There's a drowning of your sorrows. There's a drowning of your sorrows. Like there's there's just this. It's like you. It's like wanting to live life. 
this like wanting to live life without regret i feel like for a lot of you guys right now present moment that's really and truly the overall energy like you're wanting to live life without any regret without any regret and i feel like for some of you guys right now present moment you worry about that you worry about the decisions that you're making the decisions that you have made for some of you guys it is surrounding a relationship for some of you guys, it's surrounding a career. For some of you guys, it's surrounding the day-to-day -day hustle, but it's surrounding your foundation and it's also really and truly surrounding the material realm itself because there's an energy here of dissatis like you're, you're dissatisfied and you don't want to live in regret and the hustle shouldn't be so real because the hustle's real here. The hustle's real. Show me this judgment. Four of Wands with the Six of Wands. The relationship see this talks about the four of wands talks about your foundation and four of wands came out in the, the reverse that's your 11 11 so for a lot of you guys right now present moment your foundation is you're being awakened to your foundation some of you guys you may be separated from your person or having issues with your person and you're wanting to rectify that situation some of you guys are being awakened to that you're actually it's not, it's, not, it's not about becoming awakened to it. It's you're finally giving up your defenses. You're finally, you know how it's like, do I really want this? This is, I've, I heard something recently and they were like, okay, when you, when you're at the, your last, when you're living your best life, when you're at the end of your life, who do you want with you? I feel like for some of you guys, that's your energy. Like you're being awakened to that. With all of these successes, with all of the wins, it's like, who do you want with you? And for some of you guys, so there's a spectrum here. Some of you guys, that's where you're at. Who, who do you want with you? So this is about you letting your guard down and actually going, being awakened to a connection itself. And for some of you guys, there's, there's a separation here because you want more like you're being awakened to the fact that a relationship or, or or something that you once had is actually blocking you from your truest goals your truest desires there's a true desire here for some of you guys some of you guys you want to reach a certain milestone you want to be successful you want to be seen you want to be heard and there's something about your foundation. There's something about your home, this, your homestead. There's something about where you reside, even if it's the state or the city. There's something about that. It's not going to get you where you want to go. Some of you guys are actually determining that. You're coming to that determination. You're coming to that awakening that if you want to be successful, if you want to be victorious, you need to relocate. You're in the wrong place. Because I'm seeing for some of you guys, this is leaving like your home, like where you grew up. This is leaving your family behind. But there's, there's, there's a massive awakening of what you want. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're actually coming to that determination. Because wherever you're at, it's not giving. It's not giving you what you want. So I'm getting a, I'm getting a, a big energy for, in, in you can put yourself in whatever shoe you want to. It's either where you're, you're reaching certain successes, but there's still a loss or you're, or, you're, or you're hustling, you're hustling, you're hustling, and you're still not seeing a game. Like, that's what I'm really and truly getting. Yeah. Let's see. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. Show me this Ace of Pentacles for my Virgos. Five of Wands. Tired of, like, tired of hustling. Three of Swords trying to heal, trying to get right. Like, you guys are trying to get right trying to get right you don't want the drama you don't want the conflict like you've faced a lot of you 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 fought to win you've been fighting to win you've been fighting for something and it's just one of those things where it's like do i continue fighting for it when i'm not getting what i want for, for a big group of you guys there's something here that you've been fighting for and it's not giving you what you want. It hasn't given you what you want. You see, you still see the potential in it. You still see the potential in it. But there's an energy here of, is it worth it? There's an energy here of, is it worth it? What is this? 
What is this here? Eight of Wands. I keep getting blockages. No communication. No communication. Location, location, location. And it's also for some of you guys, it's about taking action. Because the Eight of Wands is telling me that, in the reverse, it's telling me like, what are you doing? This is about what are you doing? You're going to be faced with challenges. You're going to be faced with obstacles. You're going to be faced with jealous individuals. You're going to be faced with competition. But what are you doing? This is showing me like, what are you guys doing? This is, I keep seeing blockages, blockages in your blockages in you getting what you want. But, uh, but it's, it's about action. Eight of Wands is all about action. It's about communication. It's about travel. It's about relocating for some of you guys. Like there's an opportunity. So for some of you guys, there's an opportunity, but you're scared to pursue the opportunity because you have to leave where you're at. You have to leave something behind. What is this? Everything is fine. Something that has this, that, something that has just, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. And it's like, you, it's like trying to tell yourself, you keep trying to tell yourself that everything is fine. Everything's going to be fine. But it can't get no, <laughs> yeah, eight of swords all in your head. There's a stuck, there's a stuck posture here. There is a stuck posture. You keep telling yourself everything is fine as, as I don't want to say as you keep getting stabbed in the back, as there's still a pain, as there's still a dissatisfied, like you're dissatisfied, as there's still um, a blockages in your growth, a blockages in your true potential, like there's still a blockage that's being caused. And it's like, you guys are keep telling yourself, for, and this is not for everybody, but it's like, keep telling yourself, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. And for a lot of you guys, you still, there, there's a, for some of you guys, this is within your career. For some of you guys, this is within a relationship. I'm getting a strong, strong, something holding you back. For some of you guys, it's yourself holding you back because it's some fear. There's some fear in it. That's, there's some overthinking more than fear. There's a, I want to do this. 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 But what are you, because you're not, I don't, what are you doing? There's so much fear. In, in the mind. In the mind, there's so much fear. Show me this Eight of Pentacles for my Virgos. Eight of Cups. That Eight of Cups pops right on out in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. Your emotions are kind of all over the place. Right now, present moment, you guys, emotions are all over the place. It's hard for you to detach. Whatever this is, it's it's extremely, extremely hard for you to detach. Some of you guys, there's a there's there's a wondering about yourself. Like there's a wondering about can you do it? What will it be like if I truly do go after what's for me, what's what I really and truly want? There's a wondering. Some of you guys, you've never done anything on your own. Like you've never done anything on your own. You don't even know what you should be doing. Some of you guys, there's a lot like you've, you've, you've had your head down, hustling, hustling, hustling. And now you don't, you don't really know what you want to do. Like there's an energy here of not really and truly knowing what it is that you want to do. You're just trying to stay afloat. Like I'm getting like you guys are just really and truly trying to stay afloat mentally, physically, and emotionally. Like I feel like you guys are just trying to stay afloat. Yeah, that's some big energy. Show me this Ten of Pentacles. Because whatever you guys have been working towards building, you're not sure you want it anymore. The Chariot. Some of you guys are leaving it, considering leaving it behind. Some of you guys are considering leaving behind a family, a marriage. 
with children, money, your job, your career. You're you're on the you're on the brink. You're thinking about it because with the chariot here, you're really and truly thinking about it. Queen of Swords. Whoever this is is not happy. Whoever this is is just not happy. Not happy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. If you're embodying this Queen of Swords energy, what are you telling yourself? And what are you telling other people? Because I feel like for, for a big group of you guys, you've been trying to convince yourself to stay somewhere. You've been trying to pretend like everything is fine. I feel like for a lot of you guys, see that? I feel like there's a big energy here of telling yourself that everything is fine, but everything is not fine. And now you're mad. But you 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 told that to yourself. You convinced yourself and you tried to convince everybody else and you kept trying to convince yourself. Like, now you're mad. Because you... you I feel like for somebody here, it's like something is crumbling. Something is crumbling. Where is it that my Virgo is trying to go, spirit? Where is it that my Virgo is trying to go? Nine of Cups. To where you're content. To where you're happy. Some of you guys just want to be left the hell alone. Yeah, the lovers. Big separation energy. Big separation energy. Big separation energy. But the thing about it is, why are y'all mad like that? Because I feel, I feel an energy of someone very mad, very disappointed. Very mad and very disappointed. I feel a real, real big energy of someone here that's very, very much so mad. Very much so disappointed. Because, gosh, it's, it's just such a heavy energy. Um, and... It's, it's kind of, it's heavy. And I'm going to say this, of course, I'm, it's heavy, but it's kind of sad because I feel like working so hard for something, working so hard to, to, to obtain something, to have something and to, and to one day just kind of wake up because that's what I'm getting in this energy. And it's either parting ways with you or you're parting ways with it, or there's a, kind of an aha moment of I'm not sure this is where what I want to do anymore. I'm 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 just not too sure. Yeah, show me. What's this what's this five of cups? That card just slid out. What's this five of cups? Five of Swords in the reverse. All right. Okay. So you're trying to, yeah, Three of Swords. Mm. There's been some heartache. There's been some pain. Four of Swords. You guys need to, you guys need to take a break. You guys need to pause, take a pause. Like, you need to take a break and take a pause. There's a big, with that Four of Swords in the reverse, there's a big need for you guys to take a break, take a pause. Lay your swords down. Five of cups. Five of cups in the reverse with the five of swords in the reverse. What this is showing me is that for a lot, of, a lot of you guys, moving forward, moving forward, there's going to be a lot of changes. You know, the challenges that you've been faced with, the obstacles that you've been faced with, they're going to subside. You know, you've been fighting to win. You've been fighting at all on at all sides, all sides you've been fighting, all sides you've been fighting, you've been fighting with everybody, you've been challenged, you've been questioned, you have been, I want to say for some of you guys, you've been used and abused. You've been faced with some challenges. I'm seeing this with the three of swords, five of swords, five of cups. You've been faced with challenges. You've been faced with family drama. You've been faced with workplace drama. You've been faced with emotional turmoil. You've been faced with that. But what I'm really and truly seeing is that this change, there's a change that's happening. There's a change that's happening. There's a change that's coming in for you guys. Because both of these five, of, the five of swords and the five of cups both came out in the reverse. This is telling me you guys are coming out. This is like, I can't play victim anymore. I can't live in la la land. I can't pretend I don't see what's truly going on. 
Like you guys can't pretend that shit anymore. Like you're, you're like, this is like massive awakening. You know, the reading started with that judgment, massive awakening. You can't pretend so-and-so ain't real. <laughs> like you can't pretend that someone loves you or that you love someone and is not real. You can't pretend that somebody's doing wrong to you. You can't pretend that, pretend that things are unjust. Like there's a, there's a no more pretending. You guys can't pretend this anymore. You guys can't unsee or unhear what you've already seen and heard. You can't take away this feeling that's inside of you without actually addressing the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room is that you see, you hear, and you feel. And there's no un, un there's no unseeing this. Once you've been, this is a massive awakening. This is a massive, massive awakening. And yes, this awakening brings in fear. And the, the thing about it is this awakening is painful as well. While it's enlightening, it's enlightening. Because, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's real. It's enlightening, it's real. But you can't pretend that it doesn't hurt. You can't pretend that it doesn't hurt. No. Let's see. Show me this King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Look at all these fives. I'm telling you, five, 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 there's changes coming in. There is some changes coming in. And we have the five of wands. So we have all the fives here. Massive changes. The only, the only five that came up in the upright is at five of Pentacles. So right now, present moment for a lot of you guys, there's a feeling of being at a lost. Some of you guys could be facing financial issues. Some of you guys could truly, truly be facing some financial issues. Some of you guys, you could have lost a battle. Ten of Cups. That's what I'm getting in this end of the road. You've, there's a massive awakening. You saw it coming. You see it coming. You've lost a battle. Somebody here, you lost someone. Someone here, you fought and you lost. You gambled and you lost. There's a loss here. Whatever, wherever you saw your happily ever after, there's a loss. So if you chased after a career or something like that, at the end of this road, what I'm seeing here is that whether it was willingly or unwillingly, there's a loss. For some of you guys, even within a relationship, whether it's willingly or unwillingly, there's a loss. You've been enlightened. You must have had a conversation in some type of way, shape, or form for some of you guys. Because there's an enlightenment. You know, whatever story you've been telling yourself and telling others, that ceases to exist. That ceases to exist. Because you, you, there's, you see it, you've heard it, you feel it, you've experienced it, you're experiencing it. If the bullshit, ha somebody's, somebody's called bullshit. Somebody has just kind of called bullshit. Whether it be you or somebody else in your energy, somebody's called bullshit. And now life begins. Now there's a new start here. Now there's a new start for you guys. Yeah. Where is this going? Oof. Trust. Turn your knowledge into wisdom. Look at that. Your spirit guides are telling you guys to turn your knowledge, whatever, th whatever this awakening is, turn your knowledge into wisdom. You're strong enough to face this. You've weathered, you're weathering the storm, you're weathered the storm, but you're strong enough to face this. Facing it head on, facing it head on. It says, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. This is a new start for you guys because I'm getting a massive new start for you guys. See, once you've seen, once you've heard, once you've acknowledged, once you've taken the first breath, you know, you were just birthed, your parent, your mom just popped you out and you haven't taken your first breath yet. And the doctor comes and taps you on your rear end and you just breathe. You just breathe. And for some of you guys, this is you taking your first breath. Like this is you taking your first breath. I feel it all the way through. Show me. This is taking your first breath. 
Nightingale spirit, know that your love, love is all around you. Love is all around you. You may have lost something or someone, but that is not the end. That's the beginning. That's not the end. That is the beginning. Show me. No, it's not. It's not, it's not the end for you guys. It's the beginning. I know for some of you guys, you may feel that right now. And for some of you guys, you've already experienced this. So you understand. You absolutely understand. Spirit has your back. Ego spirit. The spirit guides are saying that spirit has your back. And then we have open starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities. Stay open because there's a new journey ahead. There's a new journey ahead. There's new blessings ahead. For some of you guys, there's new careers. There's new jobs. There, there, there is new paths. There's new paths. There's a new person. There's, there's a new life. There's a new life. Because when you, when you, when you stop and you, and you take that breath, I feel like it's like a load being lifted because it's like taking that breath is like, you know, whatever you're moving forward is real. Whatever you're moving forward towards or with is real. Because this is like being born again for a lot of you guys. Really and truly, this is like being born all over again. And then we have Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Let Spirit be your guide. Big, big energy. Yeah, let's see. What is Spirit guiding what is spirit guiding my Virgos towards? Show me. Bring love into the situation to love. Aquarius energy. Aquarius energy. Hmm. A time for healing. A lot of you guys, you're going towards your true, true healing, but also love. For some of you guys, you're going towards your true love. For some of you guys, you're going towards like finally loving yourself. Finally loving yourself and truly healing. You know what I'm also getting? Like truly knowing your worth. I'm also getting truly knowing your work. Your work. The spirit, God, spirit, spirit guides are saying, take time to breathe out. See that? For some of you guys, you're needing to breathe. You're needing to take some time to breathe out. You're needing to breathe. And your commitment is being tested. Yes, 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 Lord. We know this. We know this by everything that you guys have undergone. We know that your commitment to yourself, to the divine, like to your stability, to your family, to your children, to your spouse, we know with everything that you guys have been through, your commitment is being tested. This is this has been a test. This has been a rough, this has been a rough, rough journey. Rough journey. You absolutely know this. Just breathe. Just breathe. Show me. So we have daffodil. <laughs> See? Every time I pull out this deck, spirit always closes with the whole message. It says rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Oh, I tell y'all all the time. <laughs> I tell y'all all the time. My spirit guides, they they rock with me. <laughs> they rock with me. <laughs> like, like they rock with us. <laughs> we have rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. And we know, as we've seen, this is, this is a painful ending. This has been a painful journey. But this is your rebirth and your new beginning, your new life. Something good. There's something wonderful. There's a new, like, there's a new journey that you guys are starting, and it's massive, and it's wonderful, and it's, it feels good. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel good. Big, big energy. Big, big energy. I normally take one, but I'll take a second. Hibiscus. Beauty and happiness. Look at that. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. 
Look at that. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going towards a very much so beautiful life. That's going to be joyous. It's going to bring you joy. So whatever you felt, whatever you're feeling, and while, it, while it's painful now, eventually, on the other side of that, your spirit guides are just telling you to take that first breath. Take that first breath. All right, my loves, I want you guys to manifest something wonderful. Light you a candle. Go, if you believe in the Bible, if you read the Bible, go to your Bible, go to your Psalms, just flip the pages, pick one and go with it. Light you a candle, say your prayer, say your blessings, be thankful. You always think first. There's always a thank you first. But I want you guys to manifest the life that you want for yourself. Today's a very important day in that. The energy is heavy. The energy is heavy. Let it work for you. I love every last one of you guys. Until next time.